You guys ready? All right, we'll look out. Don't hurt Claire. Are you okay? Uh oh. <laughs> guys, we are at the hospital right now. We've had an unfortunate sledding accident. Guys, welcome back to our channel. My sister and her family made it in late last night. They got up early this morning. <laughs> And They're we, in Florida time. <laughs> that is true. They're up very early. We woke up to four to five inches of snow this morning. And so her kids got up, ran right outside, started building snowmen. Uh, we had breakfast. But now we are taking them up the canyon. We're going to go sledding. And it's going to be a blast. So here we go. Guys, I want to introduce you to my sister and her family. This is my sister, Angela, right over here. Thank she you. is uh, two years older than I am. And uh, her and I used to wrestle, play sports together and uh, we snowboarded a lot. So today we are sledding. We have got our wonderful family up here. This is our husband, Keith, over here. He is a pilot for JetBlue. So if you ever hear a friendly face come over the scanner on a plane and say, hey, put your seatbelts on, there's a good chance it could be him. We've got his, their oldest son, Carson, right over here. Hello. Super tall, into cars, into fencing. You're into cars too? Yes. This is Kale right here. There he is. Kale is an absolute stud. He'll do anything. Just always down for a good time. We love him, he's an absolute animal. We've also got two more. We've got Ian, uh, which is over there, and the youngest right here, which is Ty. Hey, buddy. <laughs> All right, the I'm snow good. is perfect. We're gonna do some sledding right here for a minute. We may walk over and sled down the giant bowl on the other side. Carmon? This doesn't look good. <laughs> Carmen's foot is obviously doing better if she's uh, willing to surf down the mountain on a sled. Carmen, don't go in there, kiddo. We gotta go to a different spot. You gotta come down this hill? Yeah, this is, it up. This oh, is just it. your size. Careful. Okay, that's probably high enough. No, not this one. We don't want you to get hurt. Okay, that's good enough, Carm. Woo! <laughs> You okay? Yeah. <laughs> Is that fun? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Good job. I went backwards. This is so much more fun than the last time we came because there's lots more snow, huh? Okay, guys. We're going to go down that hill. Down there. All right. Look at myself. Ah. Uh, you should have all over my face! Carmen! Ah. You're getting pretty crazy on that sled. Wait, wait, watch this. I want to show you something. Okay, be careful. You guys, we got the go-ahead from the doctor for her to bear full weight on her foot, and she is acting as if it never happened. Man, to be a kid yeah. again and have your body heal as fast as these kids do. She's out here hanging out with her cousin Ian. Here from Florida. Go down on that, Austin. Let's see it. Snowboard style. Good job. <laughs> All right, Austin. <laughs> you gonna go down from the top this time? I already did go down from the top. In here you did? Well, I want to see it again. Maybe I'll ride with you. Kale, I know you're going to go down from the top, aren't you? Dang right you are. All right, up the top we've got Austin and Claire. I think they're going to ride together. And then we have Owen and Carson, and they're in the other big black sled. This could be great. You guys ready? All right, we'll look out. Don't hurt Claire. Uh oh. You okay? Sorry, I'm under. Gonna... 
Guys, we're at the hospital right now. We've had an unfortunate sledding accident. Austin was sitting behind Claire as they went down the steep hill and they got to the bottom. There was kind of another little hump and when they hit that hump, Austin's chin uh, went into the top of Claire's head. So she's definitely gonna need stitches and uh, Austin has possibly got a broken jaw. He's got a chipped tooth and he's got a cut chin. So uh, they're getting they're inside right now. They're getting checked out and we're gonna find out what's uh, what's gonna happen. Your right, your right arm tingles. Mm -hmm. Our fun day of sledding turned ugly really, really fast. I'm in the room here with Austin. They are going to do a CT scan of his head. It's to make sure that there's nothing broken. His jaw is killing. Can't put his teeth together, so we're worried that his jaw's broke. So they're going to come do a CT scan. Sorry, I'm just breathing emotional. Um, but. We will know soon. I'll have an update for you guys. All right, they just brought Austin back in from the CT scan. We're still waiting for the results on that. Super tired. He's got a bad cut under his chin that will need stitches. So his jaw's still hurting, still can't put his teeth together. We're hoping for the best, but I don't know. Looking at the cut on Claire's head, I'm not sure, buddy. She's got a pretty big cut on her head. So Clay is in with Claire, and he just sent me a picture of the cut on her head, and it is huge <laughs> way bigger than i expected it to be way bigger than i thought it was going to be so these two came together and hit heads incredibly hard they're just getting some pain medication in her head right now getting it all i'm not sure if they're gonna do staples or if they're gonna stitch it together i was just in there a minute ago they weren't sure which direction they were gonna go with that but they're trying to get her all fixed up so her head is no longer hurting she's doing a lot better than she was on the way down to the hospital so thankfully she's in a little bit better spirits we're just gonna sit here and wait for the CT scan on Austin to be read, and then we will know the results of that. I had a granola bar in my truck, and Claire is feeling pretty good about that. She is wanting to know when we're gonna get out of here. She wants to get the Zupas pretty bad. Maybe we should just door dash some Zupas to the ER. <laughs> what do you think? No, we should just play a guessing game. Play a guessing game? Mm -hmm. And when we're gonna get out of here? Mm -hmm. I would guess in about an hour. So every nurse and doctor that's came in here has asked us if we were sledding at Tibble. And I guess there has been at least 50 to 60 people that have been here at the ER with sledding injuries from being at Tibble Fork. So it is kind of crazy up there. We will not be going up there again. The last time we were there, the kids just kind of came down and then fell off their sleds like halfway down, and, like right in the powder. It was no big deal. This time they just came straight down, hit that jump at the bottom and uh, just caught some, some serious air and and it was bad news from there. So uh, doctor's gonna come back in here in a minute, get those staples in, and then we're gonna go check on Austin. Hopefully he's doing okay. I'm gonna try and get out of here. How many staples do you think you'll do? Felt that one. There we go. That's it. 
Yeah, it's a little sore, but. About four centimeters dead. Wow. Okay. Sheesh. So at home, what I'd like you to do <coughs> is not get this wet for two days. Okay. Okay. So you can use a washcloth at home, but I want you to shampoo your hair. Okay. The reason I do that is I want two days to allow the edge of the wound to seal. Okay. okay. I don't want you to, uh, you just gotta be careful combing your hair or brushing that. Okay. Staples out in 10. Come back here, we'll take them out. 10 days. Okay. Watch for signs of concussion, Dad. I think she, probably less, I think she got the least of this compared to her brother. I think her brother's kind of loopy. Yeah. Uh, but if she's confused, she's vomiting, uh, kind of isn't acting her normal self, she needs to be seen again. Okay. All right. So Any update on Austin? How do you? I'm looking about him. The other doc's taking care oh, of him. Oh, okay. Uh, Doctor Oldroyd is okay. okay, but I'm not concerned. You know, based upon what we reviewed with that CPM and her evaluation, that she's got a significant head injury. Okay. Okay. Tylenol would be fine for a headache. All right. Okay. Thank you, sir. Right, you're welcome. Just a minute. <clears throat> you got 11 staples, kiddo. All back together. You ready to go sliding again? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Round two. All right, Claire Bear has joined us here. She's got her staples in her head. It took, what, nine or 10 staples? 11. Oh, 11, holy cow, more than I thought. I couldn't count from the picture that Clay sent, but it's way more than I thought. She's got a huge cut up there. How are you feeling, sis? Your hair is gross. We're gonna have to try and figure out a way to wash gross. that. Because I can't wash it for like 24 to 48 hours, and so it's just blood. We'll try and wash it without getting your cut wet. Dang it. Oh. Yeah, my head just kind of hurts. I bet. You're going to have a headache for a while. So I think Clay is going to run her home. I'll stay here with Austin. We still have not heard the results on the CT scan. It's taking forever. But um, I'll hang out here with Austin. Clay's going to take Claire home, get her something to eat, get her settled in. And just watch a show. Yeah, just kind of hang out and take it easy, huh? I'm glad you're all right, sis. Dang it. Can I stay home from school on Monday because that's the day that I get to wash all my hair? <laughs> we'll see. Well, he's tough. Not even a flinch. That's because he's a football player, huh? Mm hmm. You've been playing football for a long time, like since you were a little kid? Mm -hmm. Eight years. Long time. Okay, we're gonna give you a little poke test. You should feel pressure, but not an actual stick, okay? Mm -hmm. You feeling any sticks? Mm -hmm. Just like pressure? Okay, yeah, those sticks, yeah. You are? We're gonna get you good now, don't you worry. The doctor finally came in and visited with us. Austin does not have a broken jaw, thankfully. His um, CT scan looked really, really good. Everything is fine. There might be some like tissue damage or things like that. He's hoping we'll go back to normal in a couple days. They did stitch his chin, took seven stitches in his chin. He's got a pretty severe concussion, so he has to take it super easy for uh, at least a week with no symptoms, and then he can kind of go back to normal. If he has symptoms, then he's right back to square one of taking it easy. So concussion and seven stitches in the chin. Let me see your stitches, Austin. Got some road rash or Claire's Claire's head rash on your chin. <laughs> it's right around it. I'm, but I'm pretty confident I saw his part of the tooth when I first looked at her head. Part of the tooth was in there and I got it out like Probably, because he does have a chipped front tooth that we're going to have to take him to the dentist and get fixed as well. Unfortunately. <laughs> too bad. Ugh. So our fun day of sledding turned ugly very fast. And we're just so grateful that it was not worse than it was because it was a pretty crazy wreck. It could have been so much worse. And another tender mercy that happened while we were there is that there happened to be a nurse standing right next to me. And as they landed, I ran over to Claire quickly assessed her and then I realized that Austin was like unconscious on the ground so I ran to him and she comes over and she's like I'm a nurse is he okay and she was checking him out and told us like he's not responsive you guys need to get him out of here get him to the hospital so I'm so grateful that she was there and was able to like kind of confirm what I was feeling that like he needed to go to the hospital like immediately so 
There was just a lot of things that happened that were huge blessings to us and they, they were not hurt worse than they were because it could have been a yeah. hundred times worse. So while Terry was checking on Austin, I ran over to Claire and I uh, was just kind of assessing her head. Um, couldn't really tell where it was cut at first, but the guy's like, oh, there's definitely some blood. And uh, so I'm like, oh, I think it's from Austin. And he's like, no, 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 there's definitely some blood. So yeah. it's moving her hair around. And sure enough, the giant cut was there. So uh, made me a little bit queasy looking at it. I don't do too well with blood. Yeah, it but, was not uh, great. We just quickly gathered him up. Terry held Claire's head as she walked her back across the frozen lake. And uh, me and my sister and, and her husband pulled Austin in the sled and got him back there and, and loaded up down the hospital. So we're glad it wasn't worse. We're glad he doesn't have a broken jaw. I said earlier, the ladies told me there had been like 50 to 60 people that have been in here from sledding at Tibble Ford. So ladies like, I'm gonna run up there, put up some signs. <laughs> Like no more sledding right here. But the last time we were there, it was pretty mild, right? Like went down yeah. and just like fell off and it was fine. This time they just, they, where they went down, there was a huge dip at the bottom that was covered in snow and you couldn't see it until they hit it. Yeah. And then it was too late. So yeah, if it had been flat, it would have been perfectly fine. Like just down. Yeah. But down to the end. I don't think we'll be sledding anymore this winter. Yeah. I'm traumatized. My yeah, kids are too. told you not to go. Today. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're going to uh, get him dressed and then we're going to head home and check on all the other kids. Guys, we just made it back from the hospital and Austin and Claire are resting. They just laid down a little bit ago, but uh, we are emotionally drained. The day did not go as planned. I was hoping we we're gonna have a fun day sledding with my sister's family. You guys are gonna be able to meet them and uh, see how fun they are and their kids, but that didn't Fortunately, happen. Fortunately, the first run down the mountain was the end of it for us, so, sadly. I, I had that little feeling like, I don't know if we should go over there. And then, but the last time we were there, right? Nobody got hurt, so we're like, okay, we're going to be okay. Yeah. And it doesn't always work out that way. So most people do not wear helmets when they go sledding. However, the next time we go, we will be taking helmets. Maybe full hockey gear uh, <laughs> is what we need. So. And we definitely learned that it is safest to have the kids go in the sled one at a time. No more doubling up. Go even solo. though it's fun, you just never know what's going to happen. And so, like, as we've been here reflecting on today, it's just like... Now we're like, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty, and there are so many things that we will do differently next time to make sure that our kids are safe and they're protected and that something like this doesn't happen again. Again, we are so, so grateful that they did not get hurt worse and that we were able to quickly get them to the hospital, get them the care they needed. And hopefully within a few days, they're going to be... going to be all right, yeah. They're going to be all right. Yeah, super grateful that Austin didn't break his jaw. That could have been... Yeah. Could have been bad. It could have been, you know, eating through a straw because I think they have to like wire your jaw shut. Yep, for sure. And so that could have been terrible. Yeah. But we've had a rough go the last <laughs> week with Carmen in the hospital. Luckily, her foot's doing fine. You know, that one we're like, okay, should we even say anything on camera? You know, is, you know, a lot of times our kids like to over exaggerate things. Like Austin just do that a bunch. <laughs> but then when it started to swell, it's like, okay, well, let's take her and have looked at it. Could be broken. So it's hard to know whether you know it's broken or not. It is hard. It's been a very eventful uh, we're gonna, couple weeks around here. <laughs> we're gonna try to stay out of the ER or a hospital or uh, clinic, anything for you know many months. So guys, thanks for watching our video. We love you, and we'll see you guys back here tomorrow.